In Colombia, the National Liberation Army announced this Monday a unilateral ceasefire, one of the most important gestures of this guerrilla to commit itself to the peace of the Colombian people. Days later, the ELN made signs of peace with the civilians and military liberation held in several zones of the country. Let's see the following report. In different social networks on Monday, the ELN announced a unilateral ceasefire throughout the national territory from December the 24th to January the 2nd. The armed group will not carry out military actions against the Colombian army and police. The unilateral ceasefire of the National Liberation Army is a clear message. Once it is complied with, it will mean a humanitarian encouragement, greater guarantees, a possibility for the mobilization of population without the risk, in this case, of conflict between the guerrilla group and the public forces. For social organizations, declaring ceasefire is a great relief. Also for thousands of Colombians who live day to day between war, for confined communities and others in territories where this armed group is fighting over the control of the regions. This unilateral ceasefire would somehow restore peace in the southwest, Cauca, Chocó, Lower Cauca, in the south of Bolívar, Catatumbo, Arauca, that is where the National Liberation Army has the largest presence. At the same time, Senator and Representative at the negotiating table with this guerrilla group, Maria Jose Pizarro, welcomes this decision. As a member of the National Government's Dialogue Delegation at the negotiating table with the ELN, I want to welcome the announcement of the unilateral ceasefire by the National Liberation Army. We see it and receive it as a message to consolidate total peace in our country. Colombians expect that more than 21 illegal armed groups will join this announcement in order to achieve the total peace that Colombians wish for.